Hello, I do this 2 out of view video to show you what everyday cooking is like, such as this broccoli turkey fried rice being made for the dinner one night in 8 minutes. The basic idea of this dish is quite simple. I first I fry the turkey, second break up the rice, third fry eggs in the wok, fourth add broccoli and other vegetables, fifth season the dish. That is about it. Okay, here's my first cooking tip today. Always stir fry the meat first if possible to generate favorite molecule before adding rice. Well, that's what we are doing now. The turkey is partially browned and we are ready to add rice. This rice has been stored in the refrigerator for about a week and is dry and clumps together. The second tip is to use a hamburger meat chopper to pick up the rice to both save time and avoid spilling. But the most important tip in making good fried rice is to make sure that the rice has the right texture, dry and distinct rice kernels so that they break apart easily. Here are some examples of fried rice made from these rice kernels. Preparing for the rice is helpful to ensure a good fried rice. Here you can take a look at a video on how to prepare a good rice to use for cooking fried rice. Once you are aware of this simple fact, you will approach cooking rice with a more watchful eye. Uh, egg is an essential ingredient to make fried rice by adding flavor to the rice. My next tip is frying the egg directly with the rice, making the process more efficient and time-saving. I used to fry the egg separately until a friend taught me this technique. You just clear some space in the middle of the wok, add a little oil, making it into a mini frying pan where I fry the eggs directly in it. This trick saves me quite a bit of time in my fried rice preparation. Otherwise, I need to have a separate pan to fry the egg, cut it up and add it back to the rice. Uh, normally, I fry the egg for about 30 seconds until the white of the egg starts to turn opaque before I mix the egg into the rice. Uh, when I'm short of time, I mix the egg in earlier. I really don't think it matters that much. Here is another important stir-fry tip that will help you to avoid burning the fried rice. Always use the standard steel wok spatula to scrape rice that might have stuck to the wok. Don't let the rice to burn into the bottom of the wok. Once the eggs are mixed sufficiently, I add the vegetable to the fried rice. I use three different kinds of vegetables, starting out with broccoli, followed by eggplant and purple cabbage. Uh, I create this approach by adding a lot of vegetables in making fried rice based on my long-standing observation that children love fried rice and they don't care what's in the fried rice as long as it tastes good. I have made this type of vegetable fried rice for countless children without them knowing that they are eating all these vegetables that they normally would turn up their noses. Therefore, I always told parents with young children to use this kind of vegetable fried rice in their repertoire to introduce vegetables to their kids at an earlier age. The tip in making this kind of fried rice uh, is to chop up the vegetables in small bits. For example, chop up broccoli stems instead of throwing them away. Uh, after you slice up the eggplants for stir fry, chop some up for making fried rice. Do the same with other vegetables such as purple cabbage. And my chef friend once told me that you can make everything taste good in fried rice. Just cut them up and throw them in it. Well, including your old shoes. This approach in including vegetables in fried rice is truly a gold mine. For sneaking vegetables in for children, as long as they could chew, they would eat it up with little hesitation. The other vegetables that I have used include chopped up cauliflower stems. Why waste them? Shredded carrots is excellent for nutrition as well as added color. Scallion is also a hit with flavor that it brings to the fried rice. But by the way, this approach also works for adults, not just children. Give it a try. When you cook fried rice with these vegetables, you'll be surprised how good it tastes with the complex flavor provided by the vegetable as it is. However, I still use my usual seasoning mix which I call it the savory seasoning mix to enhance the natural flavor of the vegetables in the fried rice. Uh, this seasoning mix includes 
1 teaspoon mushroom seasonings, half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon cumin, half teaspoon onion powder, half teaspoon paprika, one third teaspoon ginger powder. You should feel free to explore the different proportions of the seasoning mix, as well as try out the other type of seasonings. And my wife and I are constantly exploring new combinations of seasonings as well as various ingredients to add to the fried rice. Once you understand the basic principles, you start to create your own fried rice. You should feel free to explore the different proportions of the seasoning mix, as well as try out other type of seasonings. My wife and I are constantly exploring new combinations of seasonings as well as various ingredients to add to the fried rice. Once you master the basic principles of making fried rice, you can enjoy and have fun with recipe-free cooking by making whatever you have available to you with flexibility and convenience. Now the fried rice is almost done, I decided to add some oyster sauce to further increase the savoriness of the dish, uh, followed by some light soy sauce for flavor and color. Uh, it's not important to tell you how much I add, because you're going to decide based on your taste and preference. And the following are some of the fried rice dishes that I've created with our recipes. This is the vegetarian fried rice with coins, peas, carrots, and scallions. Uh, this one is a fried rice with ham, carrots, edamame, and other vegetables for people who like to have some meat. Uh, this is another version of fried rice seasoned with a high amount of cumin and paprika to give it a distinct characteristic. <laughs> this is just a simple fried rice with just egg and bologna plus a touch of shredded carrots. Uh, I call this one Thanksgiving fried rice as it was made from Thanksgiving leftovers. After a quick taste test, I decided to add a little bit more salt uh, because my son still uh, loves salty food. I usually make fried rice once a week, generally toward the end of the week, when I want to finish up what I might have left in my refrigerator. Uh, the fried rice is a catch-all dish, as you just throw everything together to avoid waste. It is a wonderful tool in your cooking toolbox, giving you a simple solution to come up with a flexible but delicious dish. Making fried rice is recipe-free cooking at its very best. You should give it a try. Lastly, I put a touch of white rice wine to provide the dish some additional flavor and moisture. This 2RW video is to get you into the kitchen to create and have fun. If you would like to receive notifications of my new posting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.